horsey people and as you can see we are back with horse reality as you can see horse reality kind of rhymes kind of rhymes so how are we all doing today are we all all right so um in today's video i wanted to show you my new icelandic foal so cute now um this icelandic mare was actually given to me already covered as you can see here guys i've got all your messages i am trying to get back to you all but it's taking ages, but I will try. Okay, so um, we're gonna check out this new foal and then guys, we're gonna start a new breed from scratch. So we're gonna do foundation breeding and see, you know, how we can, I've never actually done this in a game because um, I get a little bit sidetracked <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, shiny things, let's go buy that instead. So I'm gonna concentrate on one breed from scratch and not have any help from the outside world. Do you know what I mean? So I'm only gonna buy from the foundation market and then hopefully breed um some top horses eventually we'll see but if you guys have got some tips for that that'd be great <gasps> so these are our Atlantic horses so far and look we had a little arrival today oh cute i kind of hope this foal's gonna end up looking like um his dad because i love this sabino look and actually the Atlantic horses are really cool they've got really cool colors so let's just click on the foal here and he needs a name guys he needs a name so i think i'm gonna go with some of the names that you guys suggested which i really need to remember but uh you guys definitely liked the name oh what did you like the name actually cap uh, we've already used captain let's call him sailor sailor let's do that that's cute i think it's a cool name sailor's a cool name so i haven't checked his achievements or anything yet but oh he's pretty good actually so he's got one two three four five six seven eight very good so let's just put that in his update actually let's put this is how i tag them sort of thing just so i know um what they've got and if they've got an average then i'll just uh, i'll put in an average or whatever I'm tr the aim is to not have a horse that has an average that would be good so um yeah oh i'm being stupid here that's her dad he's got the sabino so he's got uh he's actually got a tobiano in his coloring so if we go to genetics let's let's go to the laboratory here one of you guys bred with my stallion and um i didn't realize because one of you again gave me this quarter horse stallion that's why i have money because you guys are using my stallion thank you i honestly really appreciate that so let's have a look i think he's gonna be looks like he's carrying a silver gene to me but i'm not an expert at this so now we'll have a look. Hopefully he's carrying the Tobiano gene. Let's see. Let's perform tests. You successfully tested this horse. Okay, cool. If you look at the breeder's advice as well, it tells you quite a lot about what sort of horse we got. Oh, so he's not carrying any of this. So what does that mean then, guys? Hmm. So... Uh, he's got two dominant E's. Does that mean he's going to be black? Is that what that means? I'm not very good at this. You guys are all geniuses. Some of you were commenting some really sciencey stuff, and I was like, "You go, that's awesome." I wish I was clever enough. I actually did A-level biology. Um, <laughs> the, so over in the UK here, you go, you do your GCSEs, and then you do your A-levels. And I did A-level biology and chemistry. If I were you guys, it's crazy hard. So that's our Icelandic foal. We've just named him Sailor, which I think is kind of cute. We also have this lovely horse here. Again, the same person gave me this horse. I won't. Um, I can't actually take any other horses though guys because I've run out of stables <laughs> I've run out of stable space look if I go to my estate because my horses have grown up you see uh, yeah I'm actually over the amount of stable blocks that I have but I don't really want to spend £5,000 on stables it's a bit, of a, a bit annoying so um, yeah it's not great so we're also working on the Norica breed as well because we did breed Blizzard so he's super cute so we might breed his mum again today actually so let's train him up seems to take forever to train and I always forget I'm just doing this guys I'm going over to the university and I'm gonna quickly just study a subject because I just keep forgetting to do it and then yeah it's really annoying because I think once you complete it you can then start making more money because you run a I don't know course or something uh, Bonnie also had a foal guys look cute so I'm not kind of sure let's have a look what color he's gonna be or she oh it's a she that's good i do prefer the mares i must admit just just for game wise because then you can keep them and read them i think she is very similar to her dad he looks like a dun to me is he like a buckskin is what you guys would call a buckskin let's start basic training here so 
And then we're going to look at her breeding. Let's do that. Well, her genetics, anyway. Let's go to laboratory. I think she's a dun, so she'll be... Ooh. Let's, let's try the dun. I'm hoping... Would it be silver dun, do you think? Uh, definitely hasn't got any of these, but we'll just see anyway. Da, 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 da. And then a quarter horse. Okay, let's go perform tests. See, this is what I love about this horse reality game. It's very sciencey in a way. Like, it is, it uses all this stuff, you know, it's awesome. Yay! So it is a done. Done, done, done. Yeah. So it, a done with a dominant black and chestnut? Oh, I don't know. Guys, you're going to have to explain it to me. I, I keep reading what you guys put and <laughs> it just goes over my head. So let's rename her that you guys have suggested as well. I liked this name that you guys suggested. I can't say it though. Calope. Calope. Let's go Calope. Let's update. Let's take her to the doodor. So Calope's nice. I haven't actually checked her achievements. Hang on. Hold the phone. Because I know the last time we bred a foal, it was like the best horse I'd bred. <gasps> oh, well that was a surprise. That's another 12 star. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's look at the summary here. So 12 and 12. Well, yeah, I think it's also something to do with the points because it's uh, 93.5. That's really cool. Okay, I'm proper chuffed with that. So we now have two foals that we've bred that are 12 star. And Charlie is the stallion that you guys are buying his stud fee. I didn't set the stud fee actually. It was who actually gave him to me. I think that's so nice. Thank you so much. Honestly, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. So, um, yeah. Oh, I thought that would fill the bar then. It didn't. Should we enter him in a horse show? I think we're going to get good results from this guy. Let's enter all of our quarter horses. Let's do that. Enter selected. And then let's go back to competitions here. Events, competitions. I'm not really sure. Oh, what's this? Enter, 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 enter. Um, have I got a horse actually ready for any of this? I don't know. I didn't think I did. Enter. Anything for driving? No. Anything for endurance? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, I knew horse reality would struggle with that. Uh, eventing? No. Quarter horses aren't really used for eventing, are they? Flat racing, perhaps. Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's go to, um... Let's go back to our quarter horse a second. Aurora is one of our mares that we bought when we went a bit nuts and just bought a load of horses on horse reality but i'm pretty chuffed with her and she is due from charlie she hasn't got the best achievements but yeah she might get sold we'll see because now i'm starting to breed like 12 stars i mean i'm i'm pretty 12 stars i'm gonna call it 12 stars um yeah i'm pretty chuffed with this actually charlie you are awesome he's got cool colors as well if we look at his genetics He's a champagne, so he's very dominant champagne splash white roan. Yeah, he's a cool colour. I like him. Uh, this is also one of our top mares, and he she's been bred with the same foal as before, because if you guys remember, when I did the video of breeding quarter horses, or whatever, or best foal bred, basically this was her in the stallion with Cupcake the foal. If we go to Offspring, where is she? Cupcake there see it's cool very cool very chuffed with that very chuffed so we are going to start a brand new foundation breed once we've actually looked after all these this is cupcake guys she's a palomino splash white thing that's that's what i'm assuming here what i think would be kind of cool if the game had the actual name of the color there because i know in horse eden they do so they leave the name of the coat on the picture of the horse or whatever i mean this i bought this um i didn't buy this again somebody gave this to me so thank you so much i will just take away this uh dc and i'm just going to call her princess actually yeah she hasn't got the best stats i mean but still very good still very very good uh the reason i liked her is because of the color if we go to her genetics uh she is a champagne Green Pearl Doodah. Uh, W10. Oh, is that the... This is where I've got to be careful because I think there's like a lethal white gene or something, isn't there? If somebody could explain that a bit better because I have no clue. La, 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 la. 
Okay, whoop, go back to a quarter hasif. Okay, Ebony's also one we bought on a like bit of a whim. Just went a bit nuts there and just was like, yeah, let's just let's just buy that quarter horse. Even though its stats aren't like huge, but nah, I'm just having good fun. I liked the colour of it as well, to be honest. Because um the horse reality does have a real variety in the colours, which is also awesome. Okay. Let's keep going. This one's nice. I don't remember this one. Was this a foal? Did she grow up? I'm confused. Yeah, this was a foal. Yeah, I think so. So, oh, Esperanza, guys. Ten points. Where's Esperanza from? What film? <gasps> I hope you guys know. Okay, let's have a look here. So, Esperanza's absolutely beautiful. She's only got three very good stat things, but oh, it's better than nothing. It's good, but I liked the colour again. I want to breed this, like, Palomino colour. Oh, he needs a name! Did he's not selling actually? Uh, I did want to sell him, I think. Let's have a look at his achievements. He's not bad. He's five very good. Let's call him. I love this name, Dylan. I had a student called Dylan, um, who was just uh, just something about the name Dylan. They're always really cheeky, aren't they? I remember Dylan used to just be like, "I've had enough of sitting at the piano. I I'm going to go walk around your house and just pick stuff up." He's only about four or five, to be to be fair, but oh, he was funny. I like having students that are a little bit naughty though. I think it's funny. Okay, let's go to Golden Princess. Again, Golden Princess, thank you um, to the person who gave me her, and I did keep her name, yeah, of course, because I'd feel terrible, wouldn't I, if I, you know, Golden Princess from Rival Stars, if I changed the name, oh, I'd feel bad. Again, another really cool colour here, and I've actually bred her with, so if we look at her genetics, ooh, let's check out what colour she is and what she's going to carry. She's actually got four really cute little white socks, which I love. She's obviously going to be, I think she's probably going to be, looking at her, a cream pearl thing. A cream pearl thing. Maybe a Sabino or a Roan, I don't know. No, that's rubbish. Um, okay, perform test. I don't know how much it costs me each time I do this, but, ouch. So, yeah, so she's a champ so she's a cream shampoo pain silver that's nice that's nice uh have we bred her yeah we bred her with our gun ring and he's a carrier color wise of the double cream pearl and the splash white so she's probably i mean 50 50 we're gonna get a dominant um extension or this other word that i can't say so we're hopefully we're definitely gonna get a cream pearl for sure there's one in four chance that we're going to have a splash white, but that's okay. He's beautiful, actually, isn't he? No wonder I picked him as a stallion. He's gorgeous. And, of course, we have our new stallion that one of you guys gave me. Love him. Thank you so much. The generosity on here is absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Okay, summary. I just want to train her up, so... Because I keep forgetting to train the horse, so... Is this what you guys do when you're on the game? Is this, like, your routine... I just sort of press loads of buttons. I don't really have any methods. So we have Moon, Nala, Oreo. We have quite a few horses now, guys. Hey, Ruby aged up. Ruby looks nice. I would like to breed. Wow. Let's breed her today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she's got ten very good stars. That's cool. Let's just feed and water her and all that malarkey. So I don't play on this game every day. I play on it occasionally. So she's got the same pattern as her grand. Grandma, if we find a stud with her, why can I not breed you yet? Why? Are you not quite old enough yet? Oh well, well we'll train her up and then we'll definitely breed because I'd like to breed like a Tobiano colour, like you know, all the patterns, that'd be cool. How do you guys, what do you guys do uh, on the game? Do you have like one breed and then breed different stats and different colours? Or do you have lots of different breeds and just have a complete hoony like just love it because <laughs> i i'm just i get a bit distracted i'm like all the breeds please all the breeds but you can have up to i did see somebody on here with like 500 stables so i'm hoping oh this one's cute guys nala's so cute it's going to be a beautiful palomino type oreo is really cool as well uh the splash white comes from oh good question he's carrying splash white we know that gun range is definitely carrying splash white and let's just check ebony's Parents, have you got any splash white? Mm, no, not really. I think we just got lucky with Oreo. I think he was just that one in four chance of, of being a splash white, and I think we got him. 
Where's he gone? There he is. Let's go on to... Oh, we need to train Oreo, actually. Make sure I don't forget that. Let's have a look. Let's go back to Oreo. I'll do that now, because otherwise I'll forget. So train. Train Oreo. How long does it take to train a foal? If you're logged on all day long, then it, it obviously will take, what, a day? But normal people aren't logged on all day, right? We've got school, work, horses, life... Oh, plum! Plum, plum, plum. Yeah, I was going to call this horse Plumella. What colour is this? Is this a black? Uh, yeah, double E is the black, isn't it, I think? Is that right? But just pure black. Look, parents, we've got a black here. He's beautiful, actually, black. I love this colour here. Look at this one, guys. Yeah, this kind of like silver. That's a, let's have a look at your jeans. So you're only carrying one. Yeah, so it's a silver black. I want that one. We will breed a silver black at some point. That'd be cool. So actually, horse reality is really helping me understand genes and genetics and stuff like that. I think it's really clever. Really clever. Cool. We've got a lot of chestnut in this foals family tree. I'm not normally worried too much about chestnuts because obviously they're quite common and I'd like to breed some real rare stuff. So yeah, I called this one Revan. That was one of your names suggested, so that's cool. Uh, that's it, that's all our uh, horses in the quarter horses sorted. Uh, Norikas need a little bit of care, so let's go sort them out. Let me show you the stallion now. Uh, let's have a look. We'll train her and then I'll show you guys the stallion I've chosen to breed with her. So she had uh, our little foal before, which is Blizzard, and he's really nice actually. He's got five very good as well, so she's got four very good, and I've just found this stallion here. I really liked him. If you look at his achievements as well, he's got five very good, which is fine, um, but I just wanted to breed the colour, to be honest. I like the colour. So hopefully we'll have some more Norikas coming through. Merry Legs! Oh, Merry Legs grew up! Oh, she has got a little spot on her. Wait, what colour is she then? What colour is she, guys? I don't really know. Let's have a look. Uh, let's just train her out. Let's do this one. Uh, let's do genetics. Come on. I think... Is she an Appaloosa? Or is it just grey with a few dots? It's very similar to my Misty's colour, actually. That's weird. We'll click all these boxes and just hope that maybe this will uh, have the answers here. So... Yeah, no, she is. That's a very faint spot Appaloosa. That's cool. So she's going to produce. She's going to be an, a champion in endurance. So that's going to be cool. She's got this very few spots. That's really cool. I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Achievements are okay. They're 12 very good. She breed her with a stallion. Oh, I can't breed her yet. What, what happens if we age her up? I don't want to use my DP points because they're... Uh, they're invaluable. They're the ones you have to pay real money for. Um, okay, guys, I bought this one off of the foundation because I just liked I just liked it. And also, I really liked this colour here, and I was like, I'm going to breed that. So let's just train this one, and then hopefully we, we're nearly done, actually. We've just got a few more. We've got the Icelandic we've already looked after, haven't we? We've just got Velvet. Oh, my gosh, Velvet. You're lovely, aren't you? Let's have a look. So Velvet's got this kind of like splash white and Sabino pattern in the, her lineage. She hasn't got it necessarily, but her foals might have the potential to have it, so that's going to be good. Okay, so she's got five. Can I breed her? Mm, no. So she's just aged up as well, so that's cool. Okay, let's go to horses. So we're going to start a new foundation breed today. I don't know if I can actually, can I? Because... I've run out of stables! Okay guys, you ready for this painful experience? Ouch! £5,000, ouch, for a stable. I think, so how many can you actually buy before you have to... You use delta points for stables after a certain amount. Look at my money going, ouch! And one of you guys did comment, you said, oh, it's really hard to make money on the game. Yes, it is. I sold all my horses, originally, you know, my good Gypsy Vanna horses, um, and I was like, ouch, that really, really hurts because it's so expensive. Let's go to the and if you want to earn money, you go to the riding school and you click. But guys, look how much money that earns you. If I show you my bank, 25. 25 pounds. That's rubbish. 
what made me a lot of money was uh, you guys using my stallion. So thank you for that. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. This is the mare that was bred with him, actually. Oh, she's beautiful. What kind of she? She's got a little flex on her. So interesting, the game. Oh, it's a roan. So she's a roan splash white. Yeah, a black roan splash white. Beautiful. I want it. Cool. So I've only got 3,000 here available, but I do have some savings. <laughs> Not as much as I did have. But that's okay. So we've got 100,000. So if I do 5 times 5. So we go 25. Let's take 25,000 out. Oh, that's the wrong button. Let's withdraw 25,000. Now that's going to give us enough to get 5 foundation horses, I hope. But let's have a look here. How many stables have I got left? If I click estate, then I'll know. Oh, okay, yeah. So I can have 4 new horses. So I'll probably buy another stable. Oh, ouch, are you ready? Oh, it's so painful, isn't it? The amount of money. So let's just go back here. I would like... Let's put another... Let's put ten in. Because I'll probably get carried away and want to buy another one. This is the bit that I find fun about the game the most. Like, buying horses. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So let's go to the foundation. We're starting a new breed today. Oh, who are we going to do? Who are we going to start? Like, I do want to work with the Norica ones as well, and I do like the Icelandic ones a lot as well. We've already sort of had Irish cobs, so I kind of want to do something new. I really want to do the Knabstrupper. I can't say it. Knabstrupper. But it looks like there's only boys here at the moment. I would like a mare, really. See, the Norica's there. Let's check her uh, uh, breeder's advice. Let's have a look. I think it doesn't have, it doesn't have what it takes to become big. Oh, no. Okay, back we go. Back we go. Okay, Norman Cobb. They're nice. They're kind of rare as well. Not many people do them, but I like the colour variations with the breeds. That's what I like. And the Oldenburg ones are really nice. Let's have a look at yours. This horse doesn't have what it takes, but if you look at the summary, she's probably got a cool family. I mean, they're just uh, chestnut. chestnuts. Uh, is that a bay? Yeah. We need something really unique. I like the quarter horses, but we got those. Shire horses? Not like the most unique for colours, that's the only thing. They are beautiful though. We actually have two Shire horses down the road from us uh, that pull the drays. We're like one of the only places in the country that still put, use Shire horses to pull drays um, to the pubs and stuff. Oh, what about Welsh ponies, guys? <gasps> look at this one. This one's clean. Let's have a look at your breeder's advice. Where do I get to the breeder's advice here? Anyway, so um, when we go out hacking, if we meet the the horses with the drays on, oh my goodness, it's crazy. I think he could become a champion in dressage. That's a good sign, isn't it? Ooh. I'm not sure whether I want to do the... I just really want to do the canab strappers. That I can't say right still. Let's have a look and see see about the canab strappers. <laughs> it's a habit, guys. I'm sorry. Nab strapper. This K is silent, right? Let's have a look. Ooh, that could be good. Could become a champion in dressage, jumping, or eventing. Though your best chance would be dressage. Mm -hmm. I think this one's a good one to get. I mean, we could we could take a gamble, and it's oh, it's gonna be he's gonna be black as well. It's black rare for canab strapper. Sorry, I know I keep saying it wrong. Uh, let's check this one here. Now they're all boys. I would like a mare to be honest, but. And what's the different colours you can get for this breed, I wonder? Let's have a look. Hmm. So he's got exactly the same writing as the other one. Oh, this is when it starts to get a bit difficult, isn't it? Ouch. This is going to be so tough. I do want to start... Oh, I've clicked the wrong thing now. I think that dressage... Probably dressage. Hmm. I'm trying to read all this. Can accelerate well, but I've seen others do it a lot faster. I think the best one's that black one so far, isn't he? I want one with the spots on his bum. That's what I want. Let's have a look. Last one here. Achievements. We don't need achievements. We need genetics. Seems to really has momentum. Could be a champion. Hmm. There's good drive going on there. No doubt it maintains a good balance for moving. He's not the strongest, but he can pull. That counts for something. Ooh, I think it's going to be the black one. Should we, should we do Gnabstrapper? 
I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do with myself. Just having another cheeky look through here. I just want something that's not overdone either. I do like the Welsh Borny. Let's have a look at this filly here. Oh, two greys. You're a chestnut. Are you going to grey as you get older? I don't know. Let's have a look. Could run fast for a short distance. Not too long or too short. Seems to hold up okay. Decent amount of elasticity. Our posture is perfectly balanced. Oh, this is so tough, isn't it? Let's go to the market a second. I am starting a foundation breed. I'm not going to buy anything in the market. I just want to see what colour variations there are on a Welsh pony. Let's have a look. Because I want to breed really cool colours. Hmm. They do the roans, like roan colours and dapples and stuff like that. This one looks pretty cool. Let's check this one out. Can I click this one? Oh, my computer's going, nope. Just load this. It's just having a little think here. So I think this is kind of a black. Yeah, he's got an EA cream Z. He's cool, isn't he? But I, I don't know if I prefer the knab strappers, which is knob strapper. Can you get spotted Welsh? I know you can't in real life, but can you get one? Here, I think I think I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I like these. Look at Henry. Henry's gorgeous. It's cool. He's got probably like little pink eye. That's really cool. I love that. Love it. One of the names I really want to use that you guys have suggested is Kingsman. I love it. Love the name Kingsman. Yeah, these are really nice. They've got nice colours. Okay, decision made. Decision made. Let's go foundation. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna do like a little project and film how we get on. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little video series of trying to breed uh, from zero to hero. If you know what I mean, from foundation to champion. Where's the knob strapper gone? There it is. I kind of want to go for this black one. Should we do it? Let's do it. I'm pretty happy with that. Cool, let's do it. Let's buy this one. With the foundation tick. Ooh, hang on. If I get foundation, will that lead me to the same place? Will they be the same horses? I don't know. Fjords are cool, aren't they? I do like them. Halflinger. Halflingers are nice. I do like them as well. Oh no, this is starting to get more tricky now. Right, I'm going to buy this one. Ready? Ouch, ouch, ouch. You have bought this horse. Luckily, I've got 54... Uh, foundation y thingies, so that's gonna be good. Oh, is this the new one here? I can never know. They've all got these like crazy numbers on them. Uh, let's have a look at your genetics. Hmm, this is good as well. Decent amounts of elasticity, good drive, has good momentum. I think what I might do, guys, is wait until there's an update on the like horses that are in the doodah because um i want a mare to be honest i think they update every so and so oh no we've had a bit of a bit of a one here so confirmation is not great oh no but that's okay because we're gonna we're gonna breed out confirmation and we're gonna breed out some cool colors that's what we're gonna do that's my plan just need a filly because then i can at least have two horses to kind of yeah We'll do that. So I might call this Project Lady Ranger. <laughs> uh, oh, he needs a name. Ah, oh, I'm gonna call him. What name did I just say a minute ago? That's gonna really annoy me. Oh, that's gonna really annoy me. I just said a name that you guys have suggested. I'm like, oh, I really like it. He's beautiful though, isn't he? I'm gonna call him Ranger actually. No, I won't call him Ranger because we're gonna make a mascot video soon of different. Uh, basically, I'm gonna make. Yeah, I'm going to make two mascots, possibly three, for the channel. I think it's going to be cool. I'm going to have Lady. I'm going to have Ranger. I might even have a horse called Gamer, but I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll, we'll come up with that one. This one needs a black name. You guys come up with the best. Raven! Let's do that. Let's put him in foundation breeding, and his achievements are... Oh, jeez. Ouch. How many good? Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven good. This is the risk you take when you start a foundation breeding program. So let's do that. Okay, well, we've got one stallion at least. 
Um, I wonder if we could fly to another country. Let's see if they've got... Let's go to... I'm in Europe, so let's go to South America. South America? I'd love to go to South America. Is Florida like around here? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, let's go to... I wonder if it's different horses in the foundation. Do you know what I mean? If we're in a different... Oh, it is! Ha ha ha! Clever! Okay. We have to fly! Come fly with me! Let's fly, let's fly away! Let's see... Oh, we have a filly! And it's black as well. I'm not going to worry too much about what the person says, actually, I don't think. Okay, that's not too bad. Because... I just needed a filly, so let's buy her. I want to buy- wait. Can I not buy her because... Oh, She's gonna be black as well, so that's cool. Breed pure black knob strappers. Let's buy you. Good, I'm glad about that, because I needed a filly. Hopefully another filly might pop up. Oh, no. Why is it harder to get fillies if they've done, done that on purpose? I didn't even check her family tree, actually. Let's have a look. I'm going to read some of my messages from you guys in a minute, actually, because I really like it. I've had some really nice messages off here, which is what I really need at the moment, so thank you, guys. Uh, let's go summary. Let's just sort her out. Oh, and we need a name for her now. So she's got one bay in her family. We'll see. Let's call her... Ooh. Midnight. I like that. And we'll put her into the foundation breeding. So what we'll do is we'll train them up, wait till they're older. I will buy some other ones from the foundation as soon as oh yeah look, here we go yay i've reached level 38 cool and i got uh three nearly four thousand um horse reality credits i think that's right yeah oh crikey or oh, coins it won't be credits coins of course three doodars two other doodars and 150 dp yay so i do really like this game i don't i think they're quite generous with what they give you as well please could we have a purchase premium where it's unlimited stables. Please, I think we'd all like that. Yes, please. Oh, I need to put in her achievements. I didn't look at her achievements. Hold your breath. Okay, not, not quite as bad as the other one, but still not great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good again. Okay. Okay, we can handle that. Well, we'll try and handle that. Awesome. Can I fly to another... I think you have to wait. You have to... Oh, I have to cool down for an hour. Well, do you know what? That's fine, guys. Because we've started a new foundation breed. And it's going to be the Knob Strapper. And we're just going to use horses at the foundation. And then we're going to start our own, like, breeding... Like... What would you call it? Stud? Not a stud, but like a breeding line. Family tree thing. We also have seen our little Icelandic baby. Who we've called Sailor. That's cute. I'm also going to make our mascot horses soon. Uh, you can... Guys... Mary Legs has grown up and she, we've actually discovered she is in fact an Appaloosa and all our quarter horses are doing amazing. We have loads of quarter horses. I might have to sell a few. Would anybody like Revan? Just comment below uh, with your name on Horse Reality and I might sell Revan. I don't really want to sell Princess because I kind of want to breed that colour first. Plum is fine. I like... Uh, yeah, she's good. Uh, Moon's good, Milky Way's good. I um, can't sell Esperanza, guys, she's got a cool coat. Echo, I might sell actually if anybody's interested. Same with. Oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't want to sell anybody else. <laughs> okay, guys, I think that's it. We've got more than enough horses. We've spent loads and loads of money on um, stables, so <laughs> that's that was heartbreaking. So yeah, all right then, guys. And here's some of your messages. You guys are being so nice. This is this is lovely. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, it doesn't bother me at all. I love your name, yo yo yo, yo yo yo. Oh, it's nice. I have actually answered you as much as I can, guys. Just tips, subscribers, everything. So thank you to all you guys sending me messages. I will read them through, and I will get back to you if I can. I'm trying my best to get through you all, but. Yeah, you guys have just been really kind, basically. Thank you. Okay, guys. Right, I'm off. That's it for Horse Reality for today. Have a wholesome day. And if you don't want to miss out on more horsey content, I'm going to try and look for some new horse games as well. I'm going to try Horse Eden, Horse World Online. Might do Road Redemption, I'm not sure yet. 
and yeah just just have a bit of a blast but also trying to complete our stable of black horses on rival stars still so that's entertaining oh dear and then i'll be making our mascot horses so yeah don't forget to subscribe you don't want to miss out on all this wholesomeness okay guys have an awesome day i'll see you all real soon bye